we can either do a blood draw or we could do like a, a cheek swab, a buckle swab, um, depending on what test. So we have both forms available for individuals. It depends on their preference. Ideally, we, we want to do blood testing. And depending which test, we have a documented about time, tentative time that that test will come back. So we explain to them that we will get the results back and we bring them in to, in most cases, and discuss what was found because there are different test results and variants of unknown significance and mutations. So we need to discuss that in person because it's complicated and discuss what the next steps are. And their physician is involved in that at that time, especially if it's found to have a mutation a mistake in their DNA that is going to predict if this person will develop cancer in their lifetime. Education is key, knowledge is power. And if you can help people understand what's going on in their body and how to reduce risk and how we can help prevent family members or reduce risk, it's a great day. So you just have to provide people with knowledge. You have to be caring. Our goal is to be caring. You know, our, our goal is simple. We wanna help, we wanna predict, we wanna reduce risk. And when people see that caring, loving, compassionate, passionate, you know, view, they just, their anxiety comes down, they know that you're on your side and you're gonna do everything you can to help reduce the risk. And then, and then you see the difference of the team. We do provide support. For people that need that, we go on to say, we have a support groups available, we have mentorships available, we have hospital-based support, social work available, as long, and if we have to go outside of those, boundaries and go to you know somebody um, else a little more of an expertise depending on the anxious level we do we have that we probably that we we meet with these people we follow them because it is a very anxious time for people